genetics do you inherit anything that can cause problem for your health check out if you have, have inherited something from your parents and you still have it in your body you better face it before it is too late go to the doctor like I have blood prayer now if you have it and you go and see the doctor they will take your family history uh, do you have uh, parents having this uh, high blood prayer before if you have inherited that you can check it by reg uh, regularly checking your uh, high blood prayer and making sure you go to the doctor and the doctor will lead you to know what to do our income the money you have will determine your health if you have money with you that can buy good food that will determine your health if you just eat anyhow you don't worry by taking balanced meat you are not bothered by taking balanced diet it will affect your health surely like uh, nutritional diseases we have nutritional diseases that only food can cure like in children kwashoko is the problem if you don't give the protein that the child needs in that particular time the child can develop the disease called kwashoko kwashoko and uh, marasmus is the disease of uh, children. If you don't give enough protein and you now deprive the child from uh, giving adequate nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, and other nutrients, that one can get marasmic. The child, I mean, the child can can be marasmic. The educational level you have too. Maybe you are ignorant of these uh, nutrients. Even when you hear it from somebody, it is difficult for you to take. When you hear it from the radio or the television, it is difficult for you to include one diet or the other in your in your meal. It is lack of education. So you have to train yourself to know the right food you should eat at the right time in order for you to live in good health. Our relationship with friends and family also can make us live in good health. If you don't know something, if you ask from your friends or from your extended family, and they tell you what you should do, it can improve your health. Or you be at peace with friends, with families. That can improve your health too. Health services or medical care is very important also. Because I've told you, you need a doctor for every illness. Just see the doctor, the doctor will tell you what is the problem and the prescribed drug for you. Then you have to, to control your health behaviors. Do the things that can improve your health. Don't just eat anyhow. Abide by eating moderately. Eat balanced meal. Eat fruits and vegetables. Maintain your weight. Don't be obese. Don't be over overweight. Control your weight. Those are the health behaviors that you can put in your behavior. Behaviors of health is another key point that I want to stress. We all know the meaning of behavior. What you do regularly. 
Behavior is an action that has a specific frequency, duration, and purpose, whether conscious or unconscious. It is what we do and how we act. People stay heavy or become ill often as a result of their own action or behavior. For example, I've told you about cleanliness, personal hygiene. Clean your environment, clean your room, clean your uh, kitchen, clean everywhere in the house. It's a good preventive health behavior to learn at an early stage. Learn it so that when you are old, you will, you will still make use of that. You can't learn cleanliness at old age. You have to learn cleanliness early in life. To keep the body in good health is a duty that you must you, you, you must uh, carry with seriousness. Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our mind strong and clear. One of the most important things in life is to be healthy, isn't it? If you are healthy, you can do anything. But if you are sick, there is nothing you can do. You don't have the the power to do anything. You don't. You can't carry your body as you have been carrying it before when you are healthy. Sickness is not a good thing. That is why you must encourage yourself to be healthy at all times. Not just physical, but mentally also and emotionally as well. Form the habit of reading and make sure you select reading the, re uh, the things that you should uh, read daily. You can read uh, your books as you have selected so that it can keep you emotionally okay and mental, mentally alert. Stay physically healthy. I've mentioned eating of balanced meals or diet to maintain healthy eating habits with varied foods to get all the necessary nutrients. You have to vary your food. For example, I mentioned uh, breakfast, lunch, and supper. It is not what you take in the morning that you will take in the afternoon. Not what you take in the afternoon that we take for dinner. Just make sure you have variety in your diet. Plan your diet for breakfast. I'm eating this. For lunch, another thing. For dinner, it's another thing. Not every, every time you eat the same thing. I've seen people eating uh, carbohydrates all the time. Eh? The morning, in the morning, they will take bread. Afternoon is a uh, pounded yam. Uh, evening is a uh, bar. You have to vary it. And uh, they, they don't bother about uh, fruits and vegetables, which is very important in their diet. I told you also that you should burn more calories that you, uh, that you consume to maintain a healthy diet. How do you burn the calories? I told you before, do more exercise. Drink more water too. It is recommended that at least two liters per day, two liters of water per day. Somebody is drinking water there. Two liters per day is recommended. Drink water well so that it can make your bowel move freely. 
sleep well every night. Some people they walk, 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 walk like their cats. They don't have time to sleep and sleep well. You should have the time to walk and the time to rest. Like it is recommended that 10 to 11 hours for an adult daily. Make sure you sleep 10 to at least 10 to 11 hours. For children, 7 to 9 hours is recommended. So make sure they know the, the adult, they walk, 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 walk throughout the day and they don't have time to sleep. So make sure you develop the attitude of resting after work. Healthy behavior, we talked about it before. Be hygienic, eh? quit smoking. I'm just repeating it because you should highlight them. Beat drug addiction. Avoid other risky behaviors. You know so many risky behaviors that can affect your health. Eh? Remember to do everything in moderation. Whatever you do in life, do it in moderation to make sure that you live in good health. Lifestyle and health, they are related. If you don't have a lifestyle of taking good food, a lifestyle of, of uh, relating well with uh, friends, neighbors and family, a lifestyle of doing physical activities like exercise, you may find it difficult to live in good health. Your lifestyle plays an important role in your health. Lifestyle includes the behavior and activities that make up your daily life. The work you do, your leo, the food you eat, your interaction with family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, and strangers, and also your activities daily. There is another thing that you should manage. You should manage stress. Stress. And the definition of, of stress, I give it as stress, is the response you have when facing circumstances that force you to have to keep things balanced. The circumstances themselves are known as stressors. To identify your true sources of stress, look closely at your habits your attitudes and your excuses. Breathing exercise is an effective stress management. Then you breathe in and out. It's an important and effective stress management. Just to relieve yourself of stress. Breathe in and out. And run away from anything that can give you stress so that you can keep on being healthy. Stress and stress management continues. Go for a walk, I've mentioned that before, and breathe in fresh air. You can go through your compound for a walk. You can call a good friend to have healthy discussion. Healthy discussion, you know healthy discussion. If you have a good friend, you will, you will talk, you will laugh, you will relieve yourself of stress. Not calling a friend that can hurt your stress. Sweat out tension with a good workout. For example now, when you go out, you walk around, you run, you play around, you will, the sweat will be coming out of you. If you do exercise without sweating, it's not exercise. It's not. And you can't burn the calorie off without sweating. When you want to do the real exercise, make sure you sweat 
before you come back home. And immediately, when you get home, you take your bath, then you wash your, uh, your, your, your clothes, the clothes that you use for, for exercise. If you have a regular exercise with the, with the regular jacket that you are going to be wearing, spend time. If you can't do exercise, you can have a garden around your house. You can walk in your garden, eh? plant vegetables, plant uh, this, plant that, and weed it yourself. You, it's a lot of uh, work, and you will, the sweat will be coming out of you, and it's a lot of exercise that you have done that day. So after all this, then you can take a long bath. What is a long bath? Eh? You have your water there. Not uh, that you will enter the bathroom. Within uh, two minutes or five minutes, you, you run out of the bathroom. You can bath for even 30 minutes. I know somebody who, who, who said, I, I always bath for, after exercise, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So the, the people who do exercise are healthier than those who just sit down in a place. Sedentary work is very bad. The environmental health. Environmental health is that, that branch of public health that is concerned with all aspects of natural and built environments that may affect human health. We have mentioned some. Environmental health is defined by WHO as those aspects of the human health and disease that are determined by factors in the environment. So that is why you must make your environment clean so that you can uh, live in good health. Hazardous materials management, like waste management, contaminated sites, responses to emergency situation can cause health hazard. So, uh, don't stay where you have uh, emergency conditions that you have contaminated sites, you have uh, waste uh, around you that you cannot even clean. It is not good for your health. Medical waste management and disposal. You dispose everything that you use immediately, whether you, 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 the waste you have medically or anything that you dispose. That is why dustbin is very, very important. Put any add your waste in that dustbin with lid, cover it, and make sure you empty it regularly. And don't just litter the floor. Make sure you put uh, your waste in appropriate place. Noise pollution control. If you have, if you have an environment that is noisy, it can cause problems for your hair, can cause uh, your hair drum to damage. So you must run from that environment and you don't allow problem with your hair. Safe drinking water. There is something they call pure water. Everywhere, pure water, pure water. Do you know where they prepare this pure water? Do you know who prepared this pure water? Even the table water they are saying is pure now. If you see some of them, they just is own prepared, own prepared uh, water that they didn't sanitize, they didn't purify, and they call it pure water. So make sure you know the water you are drinking. That the water is safe for you to drink. Know the type of water, not just drink, drink anyhow, anywhere you just drink, drink, drink. No, know the type of water and where you should drink it. 
vector control that is do you have uh, mosquito breed around you or do you have rodents flies cockroaches in your area that is uh, the evidence of dirtiness that you should allow flies cockroaches to breed in your house or around your house you have a breeding place for mosquitoes no you have to take care of your environment as you take care of your home you take care of your environment so that you won't have breed of, uh, of mosquitoes you will have rodents and flies and cockroaches in your home world health organization who has played a leading role they have played a leading role in the development strategies that benefit health and to prevent and treat the root causes of disease. We know of Ebola now. WHO, they have done a lot of work to encourage people to be hygienic enough to be hygienic enough, to know what to do at the right time. Even they told us yesterday in the seminar that you have to sanitize your hands, you have to wash your hands all the time in order not to infect yourself with strange diseases. Other interventions that can make environment healthier have been put in place by this organization. They have been encouraging people to go to a health center, see a medical doctor, then